right guys, so here she is. Uh, let's go over the, the whole case itself. Uh, all the prices will be listed somewhere on the screen later on, but basically I just wanna show you what's in my bug out case for my GoPro. Uh, got my old uh, Army Star on there. Uh, just kind of a throwback to my Army days, but nonetheless, GoPro, so I know which case this is, because I actually have two of these cases. Um, but you're not here to see just the case, uh, which I purchased this at a um, Bass Pro Shops uh, case, but I'll list the price as we go along. But let's see what's inside the case. There we go. There, wait, wait, okay, so there's more. What is this? Well, this is the Biz Wolf uh, 20 watt solar charger, and it is basically what it says it is. And I use this uh, whenever I'm outside. Um, having to, you know, and, and then I need to charge up something. So if I'm outside in the sunlight, uh, two ports um, for power, and uh, basically a little pocket to hold anything that I need to in there. So there is that. Also, more inside the case, I have this guy right here that I just recently purchased from uh, Amazon. And if you look at it like that, there you go. It's just a quick little GoPro. Um, selfie stick you know trying to get some altitude out of it if you want to you know get something far away or whatever uh, I got the a smaller tripod version I just did a review on this if you want to see that I'll have it up there in the corner uh, for a card but it's the Manfrotto tripod works wonderfully uh, further on inside the pocket just with this little protective bags um, this is a, a 3000 mAh battery um, not very expensive, just a quick little charge up for one of the batteries if I need to. And additionally, in here, let me step on these. These are the rings that I use so that I can connect this to whatever it is that I need to. Maybe I need to hang it uh, to get the proper angle for the solar panels. I've got another 3000 milliamp uh, hour battery that will also charge any other batteries if that one runs out. See that there? Additionally, inside are power bricks um, so I have cables so the power bricks here will be used to power up anything I need to also charge or whatnot for power over here is let me pull that off this is the as you can possibly read here um, the video micro this is the Rode, uh, Rode video micro microphone with uh, dead cat as they call it um, yeah Rode perfect for microphones for my GoPro Hero 9. Can't speak there. Um, just up bought this. We'll be doing a review on it. Uh, pretty inexpensive off of YouTube as well. What is it? Why did I buy it? Well, what is it? It's a memory card holder. Um, why did I buy it? Because I got tired of putting them in little cases, those little foldable cases that you have this adapter and this with it, you know, and it's a uh, uh, I just they, just, they just kept going everywhere. So now I know where they are in here. And what's really cool about this is this will hold 12 and 12. So as you can see the case, you can put micros down below and then put the SDs on top. So you can have 12 micros and 12 SDs. Uh, as you know, with the GoPro, you'll be using the micros basically. So, you know, there you go. That's this bad boy. All right, now we get into the nitty gritty. I haven't even got to the GoPro yet, but we will here in a second. So let's start up here. Uh, incidental wires that I need for charging. This is for the, the video micro. That's the cable for that. Uh, there's another extra USB-C cable that if I need it to charge a phone or whatever. And then the door that goes to my GoPro Hero 9. You'll know why here in a second if you don't already know because you can see it here in a sec. All right, this is my contraption that I'll fit. Um, I'll explain it here in a second, but basically it's intended for my video micro, right? So, what else do we have in here? Let me get to the nitty gritty stuff here. All right, a lavalier mic, if I ever need it to do any type of interview or if I need it closer to me, because maybe I'm just a little bit further away uh, and this may not pick up good enough. However, just there for backup if I need it. I've got my, my adapter. Um, this is the audio adapter that you can use with the GoPro Hero 8 and or 9, and it has the, the sheathing on it. You'll see it here in a second um, as I get to it. Give me a second here. 
Let me get this guy out. Oh, this one's hard to get up. This is a Yulanzi lamp. It's just uh, a vlogging lamp. Again, give me a few seconds, we'll get to everything. So let's set these over here because all these guys will be attached here in a second. Uh, the This is the uh, Max Lens Mod. So I keep it in its case whenever I need it. When I switch to the Max Lens Mod, um, I have an adapter that will fit. It'll fit on top of my Manfrotto when I need it. If I'm not using maybe another camera for that. Lastly in here you see that is it's still attached, but I'll unattach it now, is a GoPro um, battery charging station with two GoPro batteries already in it and fully charged, might I add. And by the way, I do add the dates on there when I purchase them, so I know which ones are older, whatever. Also, still plugged in, but I'm going to unplug it, is the GoPro itself. The GoPro I have here is attached to a Ulanzi uh, cage. The Ulanzi cage is the G914, um, and it has been perfect for what, I, what I've used this for. It's just, it's just wonderful, I love it, okay? I've already done a review it, again, review, I've already done a review for this, so again, it'll be up here probably somewhere for a card for the review that I have done for this. So, however this is done, uh, if you want to do any vlogging with this, we're gonna go ahead and start to put this together. So, I say that I have this adapter for the GoPro if I'm using just the GoPro, but if you look at the Yulanzi, I have a thread, so I can just thread it in. Once I get it nice and tight, and there, I'm good to go. We'll set this down here for a second. Okay. Secondly, the adapter. Plug it in. Do the little wrap with the cord and plug it in into the component. There you go. Now you have your adapter. You have your pass-through charging if you need it. I'll get to this here in a second. You take this bad boy, plug it in. So I explained, I did not explain. I said I was going to explain. Let me tighten this bad boy on. I just learned what righty tighty and lefty loosey are. So originally when I had this on here, it would sit just above the camera lens and this would bounce, you know, and it would get into the camera lens. So that's why I have this ugly contraption on here. I can then place the microphone. I can't do it one handed, sorry guys. Let's put that on. Get my adapter, my cable, in and ready. And there you go. As you can see here, I am basically almost vlog ready. Now, if I ever need to do anything where I need a little more light, boom, I'm done. As you can see here, I am vlog ready. If I need to, I can then swap to this if I need to, uh, or tripod or any other type of device, but I now have my vlog set up. I am vlog ready, and what is all this about still? I still have more in here. Well, let me get to it. What I have, and uh, I've got, as I stated here, I've got 228 gig uh, micro SDs, and I got a 64 gig micro SD. And I'm telling you, even the 64 micro SD, I'm gonna run through at least one, if not two, of these batteries. So, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is, is even though I'm vlog ready, I still have the case. Um, this will normally never leave the case. This will always be plugged in right here and in the box. Why is it, will it always be plugged in and left inside the box? That's the last part of this whole case. So if you look here and I pull this case out, let me go ahead and pop this out. Now, uh, adding that here is a final basic, uh, basically the final portion of the case itself. This comes with the GoPro Hero 9 when you purchase it. It's a pretty cool little case. Yeah, it's, a, it's not that expensive, but it does the task. So let me set this on top of that there. Actually, move this here, move that here so we can see everything still. All right. What I have here is a larger power brick. This is a 10,000 uh, milliamp hour power brick with two cables connected to it. The two cables are the ones that are inside the box. One is charging up my GoPro. So let's say I am doing some vlogging and then I have to pack up and move somewhere else and then do some more vlogging or do some other type of videos. I can put this in the box and plug it in and charge it up while it's sitting inside this box. All the time, I have my batteries plugged in and then let's say I start to record, I bring the first one in. As soon as I swap the first one out, the batteries, uh, I will then, push this button and then it will turn on my my battery 
and then it will start charging the devices. So now that I have nothing plugged into it, that should turn off in a second. But if it was plugged in, it would start to charge my batteries. So while my box is sitting somewhere else, not doing anything other than charging up my batteries. Now, I'm gonna have to charge this up and I figured out in such a way that I won't have to take this battery out. All I've got to do is with the case that's still in it, I could just grab this, pull this, and go plug it in. Plug it in with one of my adapters, right, my bricks. Plug it in here, plug it in the wall, and I'm charging up if I need to. That is basically that process in a nutshell. Do you one better of a live display? Put that in, right? So now I just reach up underneath the box, push the button, and look at what I got. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'm charging. They're fully charged, they'll go green here in a second, but the point is, is while I'm sitting here, and I've got the case closed or left over off to the side, and I'm off doing my vlogging stuff, blah, 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 blah. This guy's charging. Okay, guys, um, if you like the video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell me what you think, okay? Try to make this as quick as possible, but hopefully y'all liked it. Thank you, peace. Mm -hmm.